Peggy 16. Welcome back to another episode of Level Up Your Game. My name is Rip and I'm joined by MYK and Bobino. This time around we're going to take a break from our regularly scheduled programming and we're going to show you some previews of the day one DLC characters. Of course, Kunimitsu, Angel, Ancient Ogre, and Michelle only available by pre-order on day one. So be sure to take a look at Tekken.com slash pre-order to find out which retailers will get you these characters. So first up is Ancient Ogre, so kick back, relax, and get ready to level, level up, up your game. game. Now we obviously haven't had a lot of time with these characters, so we're just going to give you a preview of all these day one DLC characters. So here's Bob giving you a general overview of Ancient Ogre. All right, Ancient Ogre has a lot of hard hitting moves, a lot of you know big slow attacks. He has uh, well, most of his uh, move list comes from different Tekken characters like you know Brian, Bruce, Paul, Anna, uh, tons of characters that he borrows moves from, and he also has some of his own unique moves like down forward two one two. Uh, he has a really good wall standing game. He has a lot of options out of it. He can do wall standing three, like Lee. He can do full crouch uh, down forward two, like Anna. So a lot of options out of there. Uh, good unblockable moves, like he has Bruce's unblockable, and you know all different other characters with unblockables. Uh, so I would say he's a good, you know, high ri high risk, high reward character. And you know, if you make the right decision with him, you can get some good damage. Yeah, and out of all of the four day one DLC characters, he's actually the only one of them that has a generic copy. a generic copy. Kick. Yeah, just up forward four. And there you go. Oh, cool. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about some of his key or notable moves, Mike. All right. All right, so I'm going to start off with some of Ancient Ogre's notable attacks. Uh, as you can see here, he has his Tekken Tag Tournament 1, side step 4, which is still a good move. Low, knocks down, and gives a guaranteed follow up on hit. So, pretty beefy damage for that big blow. Uh, and another couple notable things is that his, he has a hop kick, which is really great. Uh, great for side step with punishing, but the range is not that great. So in that case, you might want to use down three plus four sometimes. Yeah, he actually has a mid mid can can kick actually. Yeah, that's really good. And uh, but I think personally, Ogre's juice comes from his full crouch while standing mix up green game. So uh, demonstrated here, he has uh, Anna's full crouch down forward two which gives a knockdown and then you can get a guaranteed hit with uh, Wang's down forward 1 plus 2 or you can mix it up with Kazuya's while standing 2 which is a little bit riskier because it is quite punishable. It is tag bufferable as well though. Yeah it is tag bufferable but you also have Anna's full crouch forward 1 you can replace that with which right. isn't as punishable. And it's or, also tag bufferable. Which is also tag bufferable. Pretty ridiculous. And uh, you could also just do a hop kick, which is a little bit safer than both of those options as he well. He also has, uh, I think, Lee's, you know, infinite kicks. Oh yeah, he has Lee's infinite kicks uh, for punishment. And uh, he also has Big's little <laughs> mix-up game from Crouch. Kicks. And he also has a Jinpachi's full Crouch down forward one. And that's mm -hmm. also a lot safer than actually doing the Anna sweep. So it's kind of like your risk reward. That's what you. That's most where, mostly where your juice is going to come from. But he also has other great notable moves, such as uh, I personally love his down forward three, uh, wow, homing really move fast. mid, knocks down, and you're probably going to get something guaranteed, which is really sick. So and down back two, I think, is a really great move. Oh yeah, down back two, high crushes, and, also a home, also, yep, also, also home homing move. move, low, good range. Um, combo on counter hit. Yeah, combo on counter hit, which is really good, and then he gets the easy wall standing one two into a. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> and then uh, I personally like his up three as well for like wall pressure, oh, just, just to wall splat him. Um, that's a really good move. Um, he his one thing though that you might want to look out for is that if you if you're a Mishima player, you you like to do one one two. His is not natural. That's very very interesting. That's not natural, yeah. and it's also high for the last hit. Hmm. Wow, it's yeah. very wow, and it doesn't jail. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, like I was saying with side step four, you could also mix that up with side step two, which is a mid that launches, or you could even do just side step hop kick, just to mix them up. Cool. And uh, you know, some other known moves he has like Bruce's back forward four. Oh yeah, that's a great move. Uh, you know, it's practically a safe launcher. Um, big damage on hit. And, and he also has a uh, Wang's waning moon grab. Oh yeah, that's uh, also tag bufferable, and uh, he could get a follow up by himself as well with. Uh, Capital punishment. Wow. 
<laughs> that's guaranteed, huh? Wow. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's cool. <laughs> So yeah, he has a lot of great tools. Um, he also has like quick pokes, like Brian's down two, down forward one two, which is actually old school Bruce's down and with forward the, one with two. The, with the Brian down two, you get the three follow up. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. It's really good. And generally he's just really, really strong, decent pokes, uh, great mix of game. And uh, he also has back one two for a great right, quick say, punisher as well. Quick so. punisher wall splats, mm -hmm. and it can be canceled, right? And if you want, if you want frame advantage, you can just do forward four just to keep them up, keep them in check. A lot of great moves, a lot of great power hit moves, a lot of strong advantage moves, and a lot of great with punishers and mix-ups all in general. Cool. So a couple other moves that uh, Ancient Ogre has from Tekken Tag 1 is his forward forward 2. Uh, as you guys remember, this, uh, if you guys play Tekken Tag 1, you could also step this before the second hit comes out, so you're actually avoiding the frame advantage he gets after that move is blocked. So you could actually step this either way, down or up, or up. There we go. And then the other thing that you'll notice about this move as well is that you can also step it on hit. Yeah, it's very interesting. Otherwise, it's a natural combo, right? Yeah. But if you get advanced into this game, and then you'll start looking out for this move, and you'll be doing it on reaction every time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another move you'll you guys will also remember was that he had a four four neutral one plus two, which was a mid unblockable that guaranteed a small combo in that game. But in Tekken Tag Tournament two. He actually has 4 4 1 plus 2 instead, instead of 4 4 neutral 1 plus 2, and it's also a high now where it used to be a move. So, yeah, now the opponent, once they see that flash, they could just duck right away. Yeah, but it is pretty quick, so yeah. it's gonna take uh, a little while for people to get used to that, probably. A little bit of training to get used to that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, anything else that we needed to mention? Uh, no, let's go ahead and move on to his bound moves and home moves and just, you know, cover them really quickly and then move on and show them some of his combos. Sure. Alrighty, now for as far as homing moves go, he's got his 3 plus 4, which is a high homing move. And, you know, it's pretty quick. He's got his down forward 3, which Mike mentioned earlier, also really quick mid homing move, so probably more preferred to use. His uh, down back 2 is a low homing move. It is launch punishable on block, so this is something you got to be worried about, but at least it's a low move that also is a tracking move. And, and then, high crushing. Right, and uh, finally, he has uh, his wild standing 2, which is a homing move as well. Tag buffer bull. So you can get a launch off it and bring in your tag partner. Cool. Uh, as far as his bow moves go, he's got his forward 3-2. And he has his uh, forward 4, like Kazuya. He's got his down 1, like Paul. He's got his forward 4-3. Forward like Kazuya. And he's and he's got his wall standing one to like regular gin. Regular gin. <laughs> Alrighty, that about wraps up Ancient Ogre. Be sure to follow us, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube slash Level Up Your Game. And tune in next time to Level, Level Up, up Your, your game. game.